In this exercise, you were asked to consider this um, example where you've got air that's flowing adiabatically through a pipe. And you know some of the conditions at plane 1, you know the temperature is minus 2 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1.5 bar. And also the velocity of the air is 270 meters per second. Then at some plane downstream, um, you know that the air pressure is reduced to 1.2 bar and also the temperature has dropped to minus 17 degrees C. And you asked to determine the following. There's four parts to this question. So you had to find the density of the air at plane 1, the stagnation temperature, the velocity of the air at plane 2, and also the density of the air at plane 2. And again, state any assumptions that you make. So um, for the air at um, uh, plane 1, um, the density can be simply found from the universal gas law. So PV equals MRT or P equals rho RT. Um, so just divide them through by um, RT. We know all of these. We um, uh, know the pressure, so convert that into Pascals. So 1.5 times 10 to the 5 Pascals. 287 we can get from the steam tables. That's the gas constant for, for air. And times by the temperature. Um, always remembering to convert it to Kelvin to absolute temperature. And if you work all that out, then you should get a um, density of 1.93 kilograms per meter cubed. So for the second part of the question, you need we're asked to find the find the stagnation temperature. So this is the equation you need to use from the lecture. So the stagnation temperature is this function. But first we had to work out m, the Mach number. Um, and to work out um, m, we were told the velocity. So we first need to find out the sonic velocity. So we know that a is equal to square root of gamma rt. Um, from the steam tables, gamma is 1.4. Again, we've got the um, gas constant 287 times the temperature gives us a sonic velocity of 330 uh, meters per second squared. Sorry, meters per second. Then divide our actual velocity, which is 270, by the sonic velocity gives us a Mach number of around 0.82. We can then substitute that into this equation um, for the stagnation temperature. So you know everything now. We put in our uh, the temperature. Of the, of the fluid at that point, um, gamma and the Mach number, and that gives us a stagnation temperature of 307.3 Kelvin. Now for the third part of the question, you asked to find the velocity at plane 2. And to do that, you use the same equation, but you've kind of got to find out M instead of um, one of the temperatures. And what you need to recognise here is that because it's adiabatic, the stagnation temperature remains constant uh, throughout the pipe. So um, we can find out M by using our new temperature and knowing that the stagnation temperature is the same. So if we rearrange this to solve for M, then we get this expression here. Um, again, just do that yourself, just make sure you can follow it. Um, we know what the stagnation temperature is we found that on the previous slide so we put in our 307.3 kelvin put in our new temperature um in kelvin that we calculated at plane two so we said it was minus 17 degrees c uh, so that gives us 256 kelvin um put in all the other values of gamma and if you were that out you can see it comes out a mach number of one so we know that the flow at this point is sonic um but that gives us the the mach number but not the actual velocity so we need to um uh times the Mach number by the sonic velocity to get our actual velocity. Now we can't times it by the old um, by the old um, we can't times it by the sonic velocity we found out previously because the temperature has changed so therefore the um, sonic velocity has changed so we need to work out the sonic velocity um, for this temperature for the, the gas at this temperature. So we work it out again instead of using T is minus 2 degrees C um, minus 17 degrees C. Um, so we plug the values in here, so 1.4 times 287, the gas constant, times 256, and that gives us a, um, a sonic velocity of 320 meters per second. Therefore, because we know the flow is sonic, U is equal to 320 meters per second. And finally, the last part of the question is you asked to find the density of air at this, um, at plane 2. And again, we find that from the universal gas law. Um, we know the rho is a function of the pressure um, and R and T. 
Again, remembering to convert your pressure into pascals, um, not leaving it in bar. And if you plug that into your calculator, you should end up with a gas density of 1.6 kilograms per meter cubed.